when you can't reduce and reuse, time for recycling. Most folks, when they take out their recycle bin to the curb, forget about those recyclables. Turns out they take a fascinating journey to the other part of our system, which is a materials recovery facility. Let's go check it out. And that really gets me into wish cycling. So what happens when people erroneously potentially think something, oh, this garbage in their mind, oh, this is recyclable, I'm gonna put it in my blue bin or my recycling, and what happens to it anyway, right? Does that just go to the right place, or what's the issue with that? They don't wanna throw this awesome thing away, like a bowling ball or something. They don't wanna throw it away, so they go, well, maybe they'll find a spot for it if I put it in the recycling bin. Mm -hmm. The problem is that we get that, and really it's just gonna get thrown away. So it's much more cost effective if we spread out that disposal cost to everybody, we have a very expensive garbage bill every month because of all the stuff that shouldn't be in there. And I appreciate that everybody wants to recycle, mm -hmm. but if you have a bunch of metal that's not cans, take it to Cherry City or you can donate it. You can bring the metal to us, but don't put it in your cart unless it's cans. There's people and machines involved, right? Yes. So it's not just the stuff that's magically sorted. There are folks and people involved in this process that we want to keep safe. And so part of that too is making sure we understand what's recyclable, what's accepted, um, you know, Garton and Marion County, mm -hmm. and what's not. Just keep it to the small list. There's a reason for it. Otherwise, it'll just go in the trash anyway. Well, batteries are recyclable and Marion County has a great program where you can put them out on your curb in the little bucket along with your glass and your used motor oil and your used cooking oil. Antifreeze. And antifreeze. And some other things. So that's a great program, but they are a fire hazard if they go into your bin and they're heavy and they break up our machinery. So please don't put them in your bin. When in doubt, throw it out. Basically meaning, you know, if you're unsure if something is recyclable, you should just toss it in the trash. And why is that important? A higher percentage of items will get recycled if there's less trash in them. So the purer it is when it comes in, the easier it is to sort and more will get recycled. Exactly. And those bales that we see at the end of the process where you have, you know, a bale of milk chugs or a bale of paper or plastics, right? The cleaner those are, like we talked about with commodities, mm -hmm. the higher value and it makes yeah. it... We get paid yeah. more if they're cleaner. Exactly. And it makes it more easy for y'all to recycle, to be able to continue this process and offer the service to Marion County residents. Knowing what's recyclable, common things like cardboard, metal cans, plastic bottle and jugs that are rinsed out with no caps on them, caps or garbage. So it helps everyone to recycle right and make sure that you know the information that's relevant for your area and your community. That's correct. Thank you all. You're welcome. Stay tuned for the rest of our video series to learn more about the waste that you do generate and opportunities for recycling. If you want to learn more about what's recyclable in Marion County in our region, you can check out mcrecycles.net or to take it a step further, get engaged in community and take our free Marion Resources Movement training to learn more about waste prevention, recycling, and supporting the community in their efforts towards being more sustainable. Mm -hmm.